side effect. Well, for most of us, it's back to sunshine today. A large area of high pressure centered over Quebec, bringing down sloping flow and uh, some rather nice conditions. Dry air, low humidity, uh, and a temperature that started off cool, but it has warmed up. Once you get into parts of the GTA, not so much Durham, but downtown Toronto, and then back through the West End, uh, up into um, Kincardine, Goderich, London, Sarnia, Windsor, there's still extensive cloud cover, and it's going to take some time for those clouds to dissipate, but it will likely happen later this afternoon. Also, some lingering clouds around Kingston, uh, but elsewhere, completely sunny and comfortable with winds generally 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. However, we have had a gust up to 30 in Montreal from the northeast in the last hour. 19 degrees in Toronto, 23 in Niagara Falls, 21 both in London and Windsor. Still cooler, but we'll be back into the low 20s within a couple of hours for the Ottawa Valley and the St. Lawrence. 22 degrees, the forecast high today. 21 in Toronto with that east wind. It is, however, everywhere going to warm up tomorrow. How mild it will be. And what about the long weekend? That forecast coming up. Thousands of students across the... Welcome back. The clouds mixing with sun now in the GTA. It is completely clear as you get up towards the north, the east, uh, into southern Quebec as well. Uh, but for Toronto and points to the southwest, it is going to be one of those sunny one moment and then clouds the next. 21 to about 23 degree highs today, which is just slightly below seasonal. And then overnight tonight, down to 18 as we have that east northeast wind at 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. I've got a, a helping hand today. Mila, come on over here. About to enter grade six, still on summer yeah. break. Uh, you want to talk a bit about Canada's weather across yeah. the country? So, over in Quebec, it is 17 degrees with some sun and some clouds. And over here in Calgary, it is 15 degrees with sun and clouds. And over there in Vancouver, it's sunny with 15. All oh, right, so this is, it, it's hard, right, going yeah. side to side? <laughs> uh, the, that took me a long time to do. You're going to come back and help me with the seven-day forecast uh, in a second. Uh, but one thing that we've noticed is it's cool just about across yeah. the entire country. So, all right, I'm going to call you back in in a sec. So okay. get ready for the seven-day forecast. Uh, 19 degrees currently in the city of Toronto, which, remember, just two days ago, we had a Humidex that hit 40 big change thanks to this large blue H. That's high pressure uh, feeding in drier conditions. Our next weather maker will be this front and there's a lot of lightning with it in Manitoba into northwestern Ontario and we may get some thunderstorms as early as Friday evening here closer to Lake Huron and Georgian Bay and then overnight it moves into Toronto and then early Saturday is when eastern Ontario and southern Quebec will be dealing with wet weather and that risk of thunderstorm. So overnight rain is what we like and then it clears out Saturday afternoon and as we go through the next few days, well, let me get Mila back here to talk about it. Take it away. Well, in Friday it's going to be 26 and at night, it's going to be a little bit rainy. And then Sunday to Monday, it's going to be a little breezy. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it will warm back up. That's perfect. Uh, Tuesday, by the way, back to school. Want to yeah. say a shout out to your school? Uh, my, my school is St. Mary of the Angels. And yeah. See you on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Candace. Thanks, Mila. Candace, back to you. Okay, thanks, Anthony, and thank you very much, Mila. Great job on the forecast today. And as always, thank you at home for tuning into Global News at Noon. Have a great day. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bador. Kaylee. Well, thanks, Carrie. A beautiful day around the region today. Plenty of sunshine, seasonal temperatures, low 20s for Kingston. Plenty of sun there, clear skies as well through Prince Edward County. Mix of sun and cloud up to 23 this afternoon. So that's right where you would expect to be this time of year. Not as much humidity coming into play today, but more of that is on the way for tomorrow heading into the long weekend. Also looking at 
bit of a change with the pattern. So we do have some low pressure coming in and a chance of seeing some rainfall. So we'll be following that as well. For now, though, clear skies through this evening and overnight. That continues into tomorrow morning to start. However, we do have some increasing cloud cover through the morning tomorrow. 14 for that overnight low. Daytime high tomorrow is going to be feeling more like 32, low 20s otherwise. But we do have that south wind. So drawing in some warmer air, it does become a little bit gusty through the afternoon and evening. Gusts up to 40K. Uh, for Prince Edward County as well, looking at about 50 kilometer per hour winds possible and through Belleville also. So something to keep in mind there. Mainly cloudy for Kingston tomorrow. A few showers do start to pop up. Then clearing through the evening and then more rain expected for Saturday as well. So we'll take a closer look at your long weekend coming up in the full forecast. For now, that's a first look at your weather. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. This is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Time now for a full look at your forecast. Beautiful conditions today. Plenty of sunshine through eastern Ontario. Things looking good. Those daytime highs were in the low 20s. For tonight, clear skies do continue. Into tomorrow, though, a bit of cloud cover starts to roll through. Overnight tonight, day temperatures are dipping down into the low double digits. So another fresh start to the day, but some more humidity comes back into the forecast through tomorrow afternoon and over the weekend. So something we're watching, but by Monday, a bit of a change as well. So the future cast gives us a good look at how things are playing out. For tonight, again, some clear clear skies for this evening. Overnight into tomorrow morning, a few showers are possible. More so for Kingston, Brockville area pops up on the radar. We have some cloudier periods as well, though through the evening it starts to clear. So a bit of a break before more rain comes in through Saturday. So early Saturday morning we do see some rainfall pushing through. A slight storm potential associated with that, some heavier pockets of rain. But later in the day we actually start to see more clearing. So cloud cover will linger into the early afternoon, mid-afternoon. And then by Saturday night some clear skies back in the forecast. But expecting a little bit of that wet weather there to start the long weekend. Something to keep in mind. When it comes to winds, not a lot of wind today. It does pick up a little bit through the afternoon tomorrow especially. We'll notice a shift coming now from the north uh, northeast. However, it is going to start to change, and we will see that coming in more from the south southwest. And it's going to be a little bit warmer, more humidity, bit of that gusty wind through Friday. So something to watch out there as well. Now temperatures overnight 15 degrees for Kingston, Brockville 14. Hitting this into tomorrow morning, so we'll start the day at that point. 16 for Prince Edward County. A little bit cooler north toward Renfrew, 9 degrees. Daytime highs tomorrow, 23 degrees for Kingston, mainly cloudy sky. A little bit more sunshine as you push farther west. So Prince Edward County, 23. Belleville, 24. 24 for Brockville as well. A few showers start to pop up on Friday, not as much of a risk. It's more so early Saturday morning or overnight Friday into Saturday, and also that storm potential there as well. We do have the risk of seeing a bit of active weather, 5 to 10 millimeters of rain expected, and then slight chance of rain on Sunday as well, more so just showers. Things clear out from Monday with a bit of a cooler ex uh, expected daytime high. Not necessarily a wash out over the weekend, but we are looking at a little bit of that wet weather. That's a look at your forecast. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bador. Kaylee. Well, thanks, Carrie. A beautiful day around the region today. Plenty of sunshine, seasonal temperatures, low 20s for Kingston. Plenty of sun there, clear skies as well through Prince Edward County. Mix of sun and cloud up to 23 this afternoon. So that's right where you would expect to be this time of year. Not as much humidity coming into play today, but more of that is on the way for tomorrow heading into the long weekend. Also looking at a bit of a change with the pattern. So we do have some low pressure coming in and a chance of seeing some rainfall. So we'll be Following that as well. For now, though, clear skies through this evening and overnight. That continues into tomorrow morning to start. However, we do have some increasing cloud cover through the morning tomorrow. 14 for that overnight low. Daytime high tomorrow is going to be feeling more like 32, low 20s otherwise, but we do have that south wind. So drawing in some warmer air, it does become a little bit gusty through the afternoon and evening, gusts up to 40K. Uh, for Prince Edward County as well, looking at about 50 kilometer per hour winds possible and through Belleville also. So something to keep in 
in mind there. Mainly cloudy for Kingston tomorrow. A few showers do start to pop up. Then clearing through the evening and then more rain expected for Saturday as well. So we'll take a closer look at your long weekend coming up in the full forecast. For now, that's a first look at your weather. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. The power of hope golf. <laughs> Time now for a full look at your forecast. Beautiful conditions today. Plenty of sunshine through eastern Ontario. Things looking good. Those daytime highs were in the low 20s. For tonight, clear skies do continue. Into tomorrow, though, a bit of cloud cover starts to roll through. Overnight tonight, the temperatures are dipping down into the low double digits. So another fresh start to the day, but some more humidity comes back into the forecast through tomorrow afternoon and over the weekend. So something we're watching, but by Monday, a bit of a change as well. So the future cast gives us a good look at how things are playing out. For tonight, again, some clear clear skies for this evening. Overnight into tomorrow morning, a few showers are possible. More so for Kingston, Brockville area pops up on the radar. We have some cloudier periods as well, though through the evening it starts to clear. So a bit of a break before more rain comes in through Saturday. So early Saturday morning we do see some rainfall pushing through. A slight storm potential associated with that, some heavier pockets of rain. But later in the day we actually start to see more clearing. So cloud cover will linger into the early afternoon, mid-afternoon, and then by Saturday night some clear skies back in the forecast. But expecting a little bit of that wet weather there to start the long weekend, something to keep in mind. When it comes to winds, not a lot of wind today. It does pick up a little bit through the afternoon tomorrow especially. We'll notice a shift coming now from the north uh, northeast. However, it is going to start to change, and we will see that coming in more from the south southwest. And it's going to be a little bit warmer, more humidity, a bit of that gusty wind through Friday. So something to watch out there as well. Now temperatures overnight 15 degrees for Kingston, Brockville 14. Hitting this into tomorrow morning, so we'll start the day at that point. 16 for Prince Edward County. A bit cooler north toward Renfrew, 9 degrees. Daytime highs tomorrow, 23 degrees for Kingston, mainly cloudy sky. A little bit more sunshine as you push farther west. So Prince Edward County, 23. Belleville, 24. 24 for Brockville as well. A few showers start to pop up on Friday, not as much of a risk. It's more so early Saturday morning or overnight Friday into Saturday, and also that storm potential there as well. We do have the risk of seeing a bit of active weather, 5 to 10 millimeters of rain expected, and then slight chance of rain on Sunday as well, more so just showers. Things clear out from Monday with a bit of a cooler ex uh, expected daytime high. Not necessarily wash it over the weekend, but we are looking at a little bit of that wet weather. That's a look at your forecast. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. Well, beautiful day right around the region today. Plenty of sunshine, seasonal temperatures. It was a gorgeous one. Kingston, 22 this afternoon. South Frontenac area had that sun. Low 20s there as well toward Brockville. Similar story for Prince Edward County where we inched into the mid-20 territory. Tomorrow, a bit of warmer air. We'll have more of a south wind coming into play. So more humidity on the way for Friday. And more cloud cover. A few showers also possible for Kingston east of Brockville early on tomorrow. Into the afternoon as well, a few pop of showers are possible there on the radar. Nothing too sub substantial or significant when it comes to totals, but keep in mind that a little bit of drizzle is possible. That cloud cover kind of sets up. Overnight mid-teens for Kingston and then into tomorrow afternoon. More humidity, feeling like 32. Daytime high of about 23. That south wind also picks up a bit gusty, up to 40, even 50 kilometers per hour. By, Saturday, or by Friday overnight into Saturday, that's where we do see that wet weather coming in. So Coming up, we'll have more details on that and how the long weekend shaping up as a whole. For now, though, that's a first look at your weather. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Kate O'Boards is a presentation of Gan Chef Buick GMC Cadillac. Look for their new dealer app available on Google Play and the iTunes App Store.
time now for a full look at your forecast. A gorgeous day around the region today. Tomorrow we do have a little bit more cloud cover coming into play for some, a few showers, a bit of drizzle, so a little bit more dreary when it comes to the afternoon conditions. But again, today we were dealing with plenty of sunshine across eastern Ontario, so it was a nice one. High pressure is centered over parts of Quebec, but we're also enjoying the benefits of that in our viewing region as well. So plenty of sun, warm weather. Tomorrow we do get a little bit of cloud moving through. A few showers there, but then more unsettled conditions at times over the long weekend, and that impacts the area on Saturday. So we are expecting to see a cold front come through, and that sets the stage for some active weather through southwestern Ontario, along the shores of Huron, along the shores of Georgian Bay as well, that late Friday afternoon and through the evening. But again, making its way from Kingston uh, and then east through to parts of Quebec by Saturday and Saturday night. Now, there is some clearing as we head later Saturday, so not necessarily going to impact for the entire day, but it is going to bring some wet weather to the region and the risk that we do see some thunderstorms as well. So that's kind of headed our way for the long weekend. Things do start to clear out a little bit. So we have a bit of a mix over Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we will see some clearing in between some of the rain. But actually, we have a series of cold fronts coming through that's set to bring a little bit of wet weather. For now, though, clear skies overnight and a little bit of increasing cloud cover for tomorrow morning. Kingston 15, South Frontenac Area 13. It's going to stay a little bit clearer as you head through Prince Edward County and Belleville tomorrow. Some more sunshine as you push a little bit farther west and north. Renfrew, 9 overnight. So as you head north, a little bit cooler there for sure. A few Showers do pop up from Kingston through to Brockville and South Frontenac. Belleville tomorrow 25, staying a little bit sunnier there. And then toward the nation's capital 24. But that is going to be feeling into the low 30s with the humid X. So warmer air comes in, cold front sweeps through with possible storms and rain on Saturday. Sunday, chance of showers does linger, but we will see some clearing mixed in, as I mentioned. Now, Monday, a little bit cooler, daytime highs in the upper teens. So we do get a taste of fall for the holiday, but some sunshine. And that will lead us in through mid to late week where temperatures start to climb once again. That's a full look at your weather. Your 